Hi everyone, how's it going? Fake Geordie here. Now, I want to start this off with two apologies. First of all, apologies for the delay in getting my first actual video out to you. I've been slightly under the weather and also I've um, been distracted by the World Cup, but that's now all over. That's now all over. It didn't come home, but it, it might do soon. But secondly, I need to apologize for the rant that is about to happen. I know I said I was going to keep rants to a minimum, but today's news has just made me so angry and I just need to need to get it all out because I can't believe that Rafa Benitez has had to use the words, we're going to have to wheel and deal. Wheel and deal. Managers like Sam Allardyce, managers like Harry Redknapp, managers like Tony Poulis, they can wheel and deal. That's fine. Let them do that. But Rafa Benitez, who has won the Champions League, who's managed at the very top level, who has basically dragged this team up from Championship to the top half of the Premier League, he should not have to wheel and deal. Mike Ashley needs to wake up and realise how good a manager he's got, how good an opportunity he's got. We are not the best team in the world. We are not the biggest club in the world. We have the best fan base, one of the best fan bases in the world, but we could so badly have such a good team if Mike Ashley just decided to either dip his hand in his pocket or go away and accept that what he's done is not very good and just leg it and sell up to anyone. I don't care. Because, I mean, West Ham last year, they had awful owners and we, um, we we all saw what happened there. They had pitch invasions. I'm not advocating that. I think what they did was completely wrong. But they've got the results. They have got a board who are now spending money. I mean, they're spending money left, right and centre. I, d I don't understand where the money's come from, but they've obviously got it. And to be honest, I know Mike Ashley's got the money. How he's not got the money is... Well, he has got the money. We all know he's got the money. But what have we got so far? We've got a, we've bought a keeper that we had on loan last year. We bought him for next to no money. We've we've got Kennedy on in on loan. I'm really happy we've got Kennedy on on loan. But that's mainly because of Rafa, as was said in into. And we've got a Premier League midfielder who, yeah, he went to the World Cup, but he got relegated. He, he got relegated with Swansea. I'm sure he's a good player, but I I just don't understand why we haven't spent more money. I, he's Rafa Benitez. He's got such a good opportunity here, but he can't do it if he hasn't got the players. And if we're going to have to sell before we buy, well, there's no hope. We are not going to get anywhere near what we did last year because last year was a fluke let's be honest getting top half was a fluke and especially if we don't add to this team we are absolutely at the the lowest ebb to be quite honest and our team our team is championship at best yes there are there are worse teams than us on paper and um, you can think about you can think of a handful of them but to be honest the morale would be must be gone. I mean, Rafa Benitez looks a shadow of his former self. I don't understand what Mike Ashley's doing. I really don't. Anyway, I just wanted to get this video out there because I'm sure we've all heard it and all read it and all seen about it. And I thought, just get it out there, get the rant over. I really hope the next time I speak to you will be a bit more positive. We might have won a couple of friendly games. And hopefully, hopefully, we might have spent some money. But I doubt it. I really hope so, but I doubt it. But for now, I'll leave you to it. And, um, yeah, enjoy the sun. And don't don't let my cash get you down too much, even though it's so difficult. And, yeah, anyway, I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers. Bye.